Hey, what's up guys? It's Realtor Brian here. I want to give you a tour of Langley, British Columbia. I know I'm not going to got it, get it all in there, but I think I can give you a pretty good concept of what Langley's all about. We're going to touch all four corners, sit back and relax and enjoy. Valley. We've got Vancouver up to the northwest, Surrey, Langley, Abbotsford to the east, and Chilliwack to the far east of the Fraser Valley. So let's zoom in on Langley and take a closer look and we'll pull this image in so we have our boundaries set up for what Langley encompasses and we're going to start our tour in Murrayville we're going to head down Fraser Highway to Aldergrove from Aldergrove we're going to head down to the Canada US border along Zero Avenue we'll go to Campbell Valley Park but we'll take a stop in at Domaine de Chabreton Winery over here and then we'll go into Campbell Valley Park. After that, we'll head down to High Point Estates, which is Langley's uh, luxury subdivision. Then we'll head north to Brookswood, then into Langley City, and then into Willowbrook area. And then we'll head uh, up into, oops, into the Yorkson area up here, then over to Langley Events Center, into Walnut Grove, check out the Golden Ears Bridge, and we'll finish our tour in Fort Langley. So we'll start our tour of Langley in historic Murrayville. Here's a shot of uh, Porter's Bistro. This landmark dates back to uh, 1888. And there's a lot of historic landmarks around Murrayville. And here's a shot of another one right on 48th Avenue. The neighborhoods in Murrayville are, are, are really nice. They're, they're tend to be a little upper scale, great walking distance to lots of amenities, um, good mix of, of detached and, and a lot of growing townhome developments in the area as well. There's a few condo developments also. Um, amenities that are walkable, uh, local pubs and restaurants nearby. Very, very nice location to, to live in. You don't have to go far for, for really much of anything. And it's really close to all the, the rural parts of Langley. So you can, especially to the south, so you can get on your motorcycle or your, or your bicycle and, and be in uh, the open spaces really quick. So here we're heading south, or excuse me, east towards Aldergrove on the Fraser Highway. And as we head down the Fraser Highway, we enter the most eastern community of Langley known as Aldergrove. Aldergrove is about 15 minutes from Murrayville. It's an older part of Langley. Its uh, storefronts are a little more dated. The streets are more dated. It's usually not people's most favorite part of town, but it does seem to be improving. Here's an old mall that's been slated for demolition for forever. Um, you can You can see some detached housing, some new housing here along the, uh, the, the sides of Fraser Highway. But in general, the, 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 the subdivisions are nice and, and clean and it has been improving quite a bit. Aldergrove has got a new community center, uh, this nice big pool that uh, is just a great facility for the kids. My kids love this pool. This is Springfield. This is Langley's most affordable housing. Small lots, smaller homes. Pause Fuels, this is the first gas station uh, that you come across as you head towards Highway 1 to the east. You fill up your RV. Um, if you're going to go ATVing or camping or anything, this is where you'd stop and fill up your gas and get some goodies for the road. And here we're heading south towards the Linden border crossing. It's so easy to be uh, so close to the U.S.-Canada border. You can cross into Linden without any lineup usually. Grab your cheap American beer, grab some groceries, uh, Amazon packages, and head back up and be home within an hour or so. And now we're traveling west along Zero Avenue, the easiest way to get to and from the U.S. border. That's the U.S. on the left, and we're traveling west on Zero Ave. And on the way to Campbell Valley Park, we'll hit uh, Domain uh, State Wineries. This is a really nice uh, winery here, one of the largest wineries in BC. And they've got a bistro on site and a little store that you can go in and purchase wine and grab a bite to eat and have it out, have a, have a snack or a picnic right out front.
and we're approaching Campbell Valley Park. Campbell Valley Park, we're so lucky to have it. It's such a huge park, one of the largest parks in Langley, if not the largest. 29 kilometers of hiking trails, just a great place to walk around and, and go for a hike and take the kids for a walk, take the dogs for a walk. You can ride your horse around the, the, uh, the park if you like. Just a wonderful place to come and convene with nature. Trail running, I've been trail running here for years. Uh, just a, a really, really great place to visit. And in the most southwest quadrant of Langley, we have High Point. This is High Point Equestrian Center here. And this is a subdivision of multi-million dollar homes that uh, are perched up on a hill that look to the north of Langley. And a lot of these homes have uh, their properties, have trails that integrate right into the equestrian area of High Point. And it's just a beautiful place to come to see homes that you normally won't see anywhere else in Langley. These are just gorgeous. So from High Point, we've made our way north down 200th Street and we've entered Brookswood. Brookswood is one of Langley's older subdivisions. And this is a great subdivision, it's a big subdivision. I grew up in Brookswood and there's Brookswood Park. There's a shot of uh, the 7-Eleven little uh, commercial area. I remember riding my bike to this 7-Eleven to buy a Slurpee and licorice as a kid. And a little bakery and IGA and that kind of thing. And if you're into hockey or if your kids are into hockey or if you're into curling, this is George Preston Arena right in the middle of Brookswood. Great place to come. And this is a typical shot of... of, uh, of a street in Brookswood. A lot of the homes in Brookswood, or many homes in Brookswood, have been torn down to make way for new construction. Nice thing about these lots, they're nice and big. You can get your RV or boat on them. They are on septics though. Um, no sewer in Brookswood, not yet, but that's why the lots are so big. Okay, we're here at uh, Brookswood BMX Park. Uh, let's go in and take a look. <laughs> look how sweaty I am. That must've been the hottest day of the year in the uh, end of July. So Brookswood Park, uh, back in 1980, they installed this uh, BMX track. This has been here, you know, as long as I can remember. I remember coming here as a kid and riding my bike and getting hurt. And we head a little bit north from Brookswood and we're in Langley City. And this is uh, Douglas Park. This is a pretty good sized park that serves most of the condominiums that are in Langley City. Langley City has some newer condos, but a lot of older condos, condos that are 20, 30 year old. And um, this is a shot of Linwood Park, another park that is a couple blocks west. And um, there's even a community garden there you can see in the distance. And from here you can see the rooftops of all the condominiums, literally 360 degrees around from this park are condominiums. And we're heading north from Linwood Park by a couple blocks uh, towards Fraser Highway. And we'll just have a quick drive through Fraser Highway through Langley. And you can see Langley City here is and kind of got an older feel, a lot of older buildings, very historic part of Langley City, this one drive here. That's really good Mexican food in there, by the way. Um, there's a few restaurants and specialty shops and boutique shops all along that corridor. Here is... Langley's Casino, that's uh, Cascades Casino and Convention Center. Our real estate board hosts an event here every year. Very popular location for local events. And we'll take a drive up to Willowbrook and we're driving down Willowbrook Drive here. We've got Great Canadian Superstore on the left. We've got Willowbrook Mall on the right. And Staples will be right ahead uh, straight ahead there. Willowbrook Mall is one of the larger shopping centers in the Lower Mainland. That's been renovated a few times and expanded upon. And this is where you're going to come for your last minute Christmas shopping or drop the kids off for a um, little shopping expedition. And from Willowbrook, we go to Willoughby. And the Willoughby shopping area is a little more higher, uh, a little more modern. Um, we've got um, Home Depot and Best Buy and Walmart, London Drugs, Save On Foods, a whole bunch of restaurants. There's a liquor store. 
Um, this is probably the main area that Langley comes to shop. And just around the corner is townhome developments, They're mostly older townhomes, but uh, not all of them. Uh, there's a nice mix of townhomes and uh, detached residential. There's a couple newer, larger condo developments in Willoughby as well. So a really good mix and all walking distance to that main hub that I just showed you there for shopping. And moving a little north, just south of Highway 1, we have the Langley Event Center. Langley Event Center is a huge uh, sport facility. Um, it's home to the Vancouver Giants Hockey League. There's a gymnastics facility in there, 1,500 parking stalls, um, double gymnasium, field house, banquet hall. Um, it's, it's just really, really a big, impressive uh, uh, arena, as well as um, integrated sports fields as well, as you can see here. Moving north up 208 Street towards Walnut Grove, we have Willoughby Yorkson area. This area is mainly dedicated to, along the corridor of 208 Street, is dedicated to condos and townhomes. A lot of condos and a lot of townhomes. Very dense living. They, uh, there is a Willoughby Town Center right to the left of this shot that uh, I didn't quite get. But um, this is a, a mall that's dedicated to pedestrian shopping aimed at all of these condos and townhomes that have just been installed. And there is multifamily, or excuse me, detached housing uh, further to the east of that as well. But it, uh, and here's an example of that right here. You'll notice the trees are a lot shorter. Uh, the lots are smaller than say in Brookswood, but very nice, very nice development. Um, you can see Maddie shooting uh, this shot from the sunroof of the truck. I didn't shoot this myself. <laughs> and now we're moving north down 208 Street towards Walnut Grove. Now, um, Langley has Highway 1 that runs right through the right through Langley. And so on either side of this shot is Highway 1. We're going over the overpass and now we are in Walnut Grove, which is known as North Langley. And here we are in Walnut Grove. Walnut Grove is a great town. Anyone that I've moved into Walnut Grove over the years just loves it. Very walkable. Um, you can walk to uh, lots of trails and you can walk to the, the you know, for shopping or uh, picking up groceries. Um, if this is known as the commuter town. So you can easily access Highway 1 from Walnut Grove and get into Vancouver or Surrey or head east towards Abbotsford or Chilliwack without having to travel through a whole bunch of subdivision or, um, or roads that uh, move you know, north uh, like you would in, in uh, say, Murrayville, for example. And this is a shot of Jimmy Max in North Langley along uh, 96th Avenue. So we are now in Port Kells. There's a shot of the Golden Ears Bridge. So that is Maple Ridge on the other side of that bridge. So we are as far north in Langley as we can go. And from here, we'll take a trip down 96th Avenue east towards Fort Langley. And this is the main road that connects Fort Langley to Walnut Grove. And the last community in the tour is Fort Langley, beautiful Fort Langley. Fort Langley is a very historical part of Langley. And here we're over the Fraser River there, you can see looking west. It's uh, a mix of a new development. This is Bedford Landing here and older homes that have been uh, extensively renovated or completely torn down for new heritage style construction that's gone up. It's a pricier part of Langley, definitely more expensive homes in Fort Langley. Um, Fort Langley has a very dedicated following for people that live here and want to live here. There's even a few condo developments in Fort Langley. Great place to walk around. Uh, the only problem is in the summer it can get fairly busy with tourists that come in, even literally by the uh, bus load. And the train, there is a train that runs right through Fort Langley, very close to the residential area. I mean, it literally runs right through it. 
So if you're a light sleeper, Fort Langley may not be for you. But um, it is a, a beautiful part of Langley and, and I can see why a lot of people choose to live here. Thanks for watching my video. If you're thinking of moving here or investing here, do not hesitate to reach out to me. I'm here to answer your questions and thanks for watching.